Okay, foodies, today I'll be making a lovely sweet rice pudding for you. I'm going to be steaming it in some banana leaf. Here I have my short grain sweet rice, and this is what it looked like. You will get it in the Chinese store. This is what they use to make. There you go, you see how it looks, and I had it uh, soaking for like four hours. Your sushi, this is your sushi rice. So I give it a good strain and I have it here. So now I want to add it into my magic bullet. I put all that rice that I have been soaking. One tablespoon full of that sugar. And I'm going to be using coconut milk or you can coconut milk powder or you can use uh, coconut milk itself. I'm going to add two tablespoon full. It was one cup of uh, that rice. Here is my evaporated milk. That is one cup. There you go. So in here, I have my spices. I have ginger, quarter teaspoonful, one eighth of cinnamon, and one eighth of that elichi or elichi, or cardamom powder. There you go, in goes that. And now I want to put this into my magic bullet. But, oh, how can I forget my coconut? I have here coconut oil. It fell asleep because you all know how the coconut oil likes to sleep. There you go. So I'm going to be adding one tablespoonful of that coconut oil. You could use regular oil or if you wish to use some melted butter, you could also go ahead. Because remember, this is rice, so we need to moisten it. Okay, so let's take a look now. Uh, give this a good mix. Okay, I love that. That looks great. So let me just get a little taste and see how sweet it is. Wow, mm, that's perfect. So here now, my dear foodies, I have coconut jelly. So if you're in the islands, you could just break open that coconut that is like medium hard and just slice up your jelly. So these are like in strings, so I want to really cut them up, give them a nice little snip. So when you make this little steam pudding, you will get little pieces of this coconut in there. So just take your scissors and give it some nice rough cut. There you go. This looks marvelous. Now I want to add this right in here. There you go. And this I'm going to be steaming it, steaming this in banana leaf. So this is all done. Okay, foodies. So I just want to put some oil, that same coconut oil, just base it all around your bowl. Pyrex dish, one that could go into your oven. Or anyone that could take heat so here I have my banana leaf I give it a nice little heat like so when you see me dear foodies this will go on this side tailor everybody up nicely and this one will go on this side beautiful and now we're going to get one for the top so it's about here give this a good pot to be face up there you go this looks marvelous want it to be neat because you know this is going to steam and it's any kink or whatever it have it's going to leave that impression on your pudding now we're just going to give it another coconut oil so we're going to give it a little mix again wake everybody up from in there and now into the bowl now whatever size you see here it's going to be a little higher because you all know rice cook don't be afraid to try this, my dear foodies. My Filipino friend, she brought this to the job and I fell in love with it. She inspired me to do this recipe and you know here at Jenny's Walk, we can, lie, we can learn, share and create. That looks beautiful. So now I'm going to cut the other banana leaf off on the top and we're going to make a cover for this. There you go. So this looks marvelous. It's about that size. We need to trim a little bit off. And again, this is this is a smooth and this is a rough side. So we're going to put that rough side down. Oops. Okay, foodies, so let's just put a piece of aluminum foil. So we're going to lock in the steam in here, just like so. So now let's put it in our Instapot. So this is my rack in there and I have my water. And now we're just going to place our pudding like so inside just tuck back that down lovely let's put the lid on now okay so let us use the steam function 
and we're going to add some more minute states. So let's go up to 30. 35 is great. And then we're going to hit start. And we're going to leave that alone. And don't forget to close the lid. Okay, foodies. So it's out of the oven. There we go. Out of that pot, that steamer. 35 minutes. So My let's dear take foodies. a look. And as you all know, this is uh, rice. So it's going to be a little sticky. You see the top of it. So we want to let it cool out a little bit before we cut into it. So I would let it cool. But I just want to show to you, I just can't wait. I love this dessert so much. So it'll be a little tough in there because that's all the jelly that is all over. That, remember, we slice that jelly up. There you go. Let's give a little cut you see the jelly there <laughs> okay and we're just gonna take that piece out so we're gonna cut them like you see I just want to show to you but we're gonna wait until it get cold there you go you see look how nice it is mmm oh wow delicious lovely pudding over here so let it get cold and then we're gonna take it to another level lovely steam rice pudding from Joa. okay foodie so it's all cool and nice so i want to cut into it now and do a lovely plating for you lovely dessert here that i was inspired by my filipino friend to do for you it's steam rice pudding this is one of her family's favorite dessert that i want to share with you and it has become one of my fav family favorite also here i love this so I want to leave it in the paper, in the banana leaf. There you go. And I have a lid for this, so I'm going to put it into my refrigerator with the lid on and all that banana wrapping in it. So let's put this on the side. Let's take a look at this now. So here now I have some of that coconut treads. Let's do a lovely presentation. You could just put some just about around, just like so. This is delightful. You can make it ahead of time for your guests. Yes. And I'm just gonna cut a half of this cherry and put it in just like there. There you go. Find this year to enjoy from Jenny's walk. Simple and easy. And it's absolutely divine. You could do it anytime. Just a few ingredients and to put it together. So don't forget to like and share my lovely bits with your friends and family. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. From my kitchen to your kitchen. Happy cooking.